Now to an update on a horrible case of animal abuse. The Rose City Marshal tells 12 News he expects to file charges in a few weeks in connection with all the dogs found in deplorable conditions yesterday. The good news, all of the dogs are now safe in foster homes and forever homes are being sought. 12 News anchor Lauren Hensley spoke with one of the rescue groups that has taken in four of those dogs. Tell us more, Lauren. Erica and Kevin, this rescue group, their name is Connie Rosso. They're located in Carrollton and they're lending a helping hand. So today, volunteers from its facility outside of Dallas traveled to Rose City to recover four of the Labradors. This is video taken by volunteers from the Connie Rosso Rescue. They found out about the deplorable conditions the 20 plus dogs were living in through social media. Passionate animal lovers tagged the group on Facebook and asked if they could help. Volunteers worked all day yesterday and today to come up with a travel plan to safely transport all four of the dogs. They say three of the dogs are in pretty good shape, but one will have a long road of recovery. But they're still optimistic about all of the dogs' future. And they deserve the opportunity to be real, real dogs and not just locked in a cage where they're going to be bred their whole life. So with us, they're going to go to a home um, or a facility where they're going to live inside. They're going to get to sleep on the couch. They're going to get to have the life that these dogs have deserved from the beginning. The dogs are being checked out by a vet right now. The black lab you see on your screen, her name is Trixie. The rescue group has named the three other dogs, Houston, Arthur and Bo, as in Beaumont, named for cities here in Texas. Now, volunteers are really hopeful Trixie, who's in the best condition, could possibly be available for fostering or, do or adoption within two weeks. The other dogs may need some time to recover, and if you want to provide some donations for these animals' care, we'll have the rescue's website over on our website. Lauren Hensley, 12 News. That's some good news, Lauren. Thank you.